Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. Recently, I received an email from someone who told me that they were having a hard time copying a mask from one image and pasting that mask to another image in Lightroom Classic. Unfortunately, it's not particularly intuitive on how to do this in Lightroom Classic, so in today's video, I'm going to demonstrate how. It actually goes a little bit further than just a sky mask. You'll encounter the same problem with the subject and background masks as well, and what I'm going to show you will work for all three. Now, I have this image here, and you'll notice in the film strip I have another image that's the exact same scene. Then I have three other images that are different. What I'd like to do is I'd like to go to this first image, and by the way, on all three images I did global adjustments to them. There's no masking done on any of these images yet. On this first image, though, I want to add drama to the sky, so I want to apply a sky mask. Then I want to copy that sky mask, just the sky mask, and paste it to this image. And then I want to paste it to that image, and that image, and that image as well. So, to do this, let's go to this first image and let's add that sky mask. So, we're going to open up masking. I'm going to get the mask. And I want to add drama to the sky, and I'm going to go over the top, just so you could see that the uh, actual mask is being copy and pasted to the other images. So I'm going to just do this like ridiculous. All right. We're going to go to even tone and we're going to add some contrast. So it's like this ridiculously drama sky. Now what they were doing, what they thought would work is if you went up here to sky and you click on these three little dots, it has copy and paste, but they're grayed out. That will work with any of the other masks other than sky, subject, and background. So if you use any of the other masks, you could copy the mask and paste the mask that way. But if you're using sky, background, or subject, you have to do it a different way. And the way you have to do it is after you're done with the mask, is go up to settings, and then go down to copy settings. And when you do that, you'll get this dialog box and you could copy the settings to the clipboard that you want to copy. Now, in this case, I don't want to copy any of those global settings or global adjustments I've done because the global adjustments were different for all of these images. I just want to copy the mask. So we're going to go here to masking and we'll click copy. Now, the mask, the sky mask settings are copied to the clipboard. Now, I'll go to the next image and I want to paste them to this image. To do that, we again go up to Settings, and we go up to Paste Settings. And you'll see that it will find the sky and apply it. Now, unfortunately, I can't do it to multiple images when you do it this way. So I can't like click on one, hold the Shift key down, and click on the last one, and then go up to Settings, Paste Settings. It will just apply it to the first one. So it applied it to this one, but it didn't apply it to this one. You'll notice this one does not have a mask. So you have to do it to each individual image uh, one by one. So we'll go up to Settings, and we'll go to Paste Settings. And you see it did it to that one. Then we'll go to this last one, and we'll go to Settings, Paste Settings. And then it's finding the sky, and it did it to that one. So that's how you do it. And again, it would work for the subject as well. Uh, for example, for this, let's just say I want to add a new mask and I want to select the subject. So it selected the lighthouse, but it selected some of the ground too. I don't want it to select that ground. So I'm going to remove that with a brush. So I'm going to click on subtract and go to brush. And I'll just do a quick job here. We're just going to quickly remove it from the ground in front of the lighthouse and around the lighthouse, all right? So we do want this adjustment to just be applied to the lighthouse. And what I want to do here is I want to add some clarity and some texture to the bricks. Okay, that's all. Maybe maybe we'll go to tone. Maybe I'll just brighten it up just a touch. Okay. All right, now that adjustment was done to the lighthouse. Let's go to this image. We have a lighthouse in this image, the same lighthouse, right? So let's go up to, well, we'll go back to our original image. We have to copy that to the clipboard, right? 
So we'll go to settings and we'll go to copy settings. Now we want to copy the mask two, not the mask one. The mask two was the mask of the lighthouse. You could copy them both if you wanted to, but I'm just going to copy mask two. As a matter of fact, we could, well, we'll just copy mask two. We'll go to copy. Now we'll go to this one and we'll go to settings, paste settings. It'll find, now you merge because we're, we already have a mask. So what it will do if you don't, it will just get rid of your original mask and put the new mask down. So we want to merge them. And you could see there, now it applied it. And if we look at it, you'll see there's the mask one of the sky. And here's mask two of the lighthouse. Unfortunately, it doesn't copy over any of the subtractions you've done. So if you need to do anything uh, more to this, you have to do it from here. So unfortunately, we'd have to go to brush and we'd have to come in here and we could show the overlay and then erase it from this area if you want to. I just wanted to make sure you're aware of that. So we'll do that and we'll get rid of that. So there's that one. Now, this has a subject in it, right? So let's delete all masks on this one. So we're back to the, where we started, just with the global adjustments, right? Some global adjustments were done. So what we're going to do is go back to that first one. Let's go up to settings, copy settings. Let's copy both masks. Then go to that one and we'll go to settings, paste settings, let it do its thing. And it did the sky, but what did it do? It found the subject, which is a, a totally different subject. It is the sailboat. And you could see that it found the sailboat. It didn't find all the sailboats, so I would have to probably add the rest of the sailboat to this with a brush. But it did save you a lot of time. It also selected some of the beach behind the sailboat, so I'd have to subtract that. But you could see how this could save you a lot of time. Now, what would happen... Let's go to this last image. Let's uh, get rid of all the masks on this one. What would happen if there's no subject? All right, and I have it, I already copied it to the clipboard, right? So on this one, I want to go to settings, paste settings. What will happen? All right, it did something, right? But notice mask two has this little like uh, warning here. It didn't find it. See, it thinks it could be right here but it really isn't. There's no subject. So what you could do then on an image like this that doesn't have the subject, but it did have the sky, just get rid of mask two. So just delete mask two. All right, and then you're all set. So hopefully that made sense. So it's a little different when you do copy and paste of subjects, backgrounds, or as I demonstrated here, skies. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.